Another year, another pile of mountain bikes tested. What's up, Vital MT Beers? We're going to walk you through our Shreddy Award-winning favorite mountain bikes as we head into 2022. This year, Vital staff and contributors tested nearly 40 different mountain bikes, not including e-bikes. The idea of picking a single standout bike of the year, or even a trail or enduro bike of the year, seems pretty ludicrous anymore, because there are so many variables that could impact how a bike performs for a specific rider, not to mention specific terrain. And while every bike and rider has a character of their own, our top mountain bike selections have something for everyone. We'll include links to all the full reviews in the descriptions below, so you can do more research to decide which bike might be best for you. Keep in mind that pricing and availability on all the bikes in this video could change in the blink of an eye too. If I were to take a bike home, it would be the Orbea Rayon. It would be the Orbea. Orbea Rayon. The Orbea Rayon. <laughs> the Orbea Rayon in mixed wheel format tops our charts this year. During our six bike enduro test session, all four of our test pilots said that the Rayon was their favorite bike out of the bunch. Now, it's not to say that the other bikes in our test didn't have their merits, but a consensus among a diverse crew like this is unheard of, especially considering the caliber of competing bikes. The carbon 160, 170 mil travel bike has internal frame storage and built-in tools. It graciously handled steeps, chunk, and flow, but its ability to comfortably tackle all-day excursions, in addition to that fantastic descending performance, make the Rayon a star. While the Rayon offerings aren't cheap, you can use Orbea's Mayo customization platform and handpick parts to build an incredible bike for a competitive price. Ooh. Despite our decision to use a somewhat sketchy fourth party shipper, the Aluminum Privateer 141 landed in our hands as a custom build project. We couldn't wait to see how this stout trail bike performed. Too long didn't read? The direct-to-consumer 141 mil Travel 29er was a ripper, has a great price point, and is a bike we would wholeheartedly recommend to riders looking for a mid-travel bike that's ready for plenty of miles. This no-frills trail bike won't be the lightest out there with a nine pound frame weight but it hides the heft well as it motors up the climbs and is a confident, nimble descender. Even though we went with the $1,759 frame only and a custom build, the complete bike offerings from Privateer feature the right parts in the right places for those with a budget in the mid $4,000 range. Let's flip the budget upside down. At $2,499, the Polygon Siskiyou T8 is a well-specced, full suspension bike for both experienced or beginner riders looking to rally the trails or the bike parks. During our $2,500 mountain bike test session, the Siskiyou was a standout thanks to its Fox suspension, Shimano SLX Dior drivetrain components, and modern geometry. It smoked the other bikes in our test on spec alone, and backed it up with solid performance on the trail. The stock 2.6 inch wide tires weren't a favorite of our testers, but for daily driving on local rides and some weekend getaways to bigger terrain, the price point is bang on. The bike looks great, and the Polygon Siskiyou T8 survived the ludicrous destruction attempts of our tester Trixie. <laughs> Let's reduce the travel a bit, go carbon, and roll into another highlight of our bike review queue. Niner's Jet 9 RDO shouldn't have surprised us, but it did. With 120 mils of rear travel, the Jet 9 RDO uses a 130 mil fork on dual 29 inch wheels. Our $6,200 size large test bike weighed in at 30 pounds flat, and other build prices start around $4,200. Niner frames feature a lifetime warranty and use Enduro Black Oxide pivot bearings. On the trail, the CVA suspension and modern geometry help the Jet 9 RDO feel planted, balanced, and predictable. With a thoughtful build kit, durable construction, easily serviceable, and well-performing CBF suspension design, the aluminum 138mm Travel Canfield Tilt was a standout 29er trail bike for our testers this year. At $4,899, our Tilt used a Cane Creek Helm Fork and Cane Creek Katsuma Shock and thoughtful neutral trail geometry highlighted by a 65 degree head angle and 450 mil reach on our size medium. With build kits limited to only a SRAM GX drivetrain, not a bummer for us, riders can choose wheels and suspension components to customize their rides. As one of our testers put it, Canfield nailed it with a nice blend of workhorse and a smattering of racehorse. 
Fully committed to the mixed wheel size, the newest Santa Cruz Bronson may be one of the most fun VPP bikes we've ridden. The bike just does it all. Ups, down, flow, chunk, 150, 160 mil travel, full carbon whip, is laced with a modern but nimble geometry, not too long, not too short, 64 and a half degree head angle in the low setting, free lifetime bearing replacement, and a lifetime warranty. Alloy purists will have to look elsewhere for now as the bike is only available in carbon. While we were graced with a high-end Access X01 reserve model at nearly $10,000, if we were to walk into a bike shop and plunk down our own money, it would undoubtedly be for the Bronson S at $59.49, which retains that lifetime warranty and bearing replacement. There's local dealer support, SRAM's proven GX Eagle drivetrain, and Fox's 36 Performance Fork, which can be upgraded with a Grip 2 damper later down the line. When Specialized introduced the revised Stump Jumper Evo in carbon a year ago, it ticked nearly all the boxes for a do-it-all long travel trail bike. The only thing missing was a metal version in the lineup. A year later, the Stump Jumper Evo Elite Alloy found its way to our Arizona tester for some smashing, and despite the large stature of our 6'4", 215 pound pilot, the Evo held its own. Modern, highly adjustable geometry that includes an angle adjust headset and swap frame storage are highlights of the frame design. Fox factory suspension and a SRAM GX drivetrain kept the 150, 160 mil travel bike moving through rough terrain quite happily. In the harshest of sharp desert environments, the supplied grid trail casing tires saw some carnage with our big tester, and he had to beef up to a gravity casing. But overall, the impression of the new alloy stump jumper Evo is nothing but praise and noteworthy performance on trail. Even hardtails get love on Vital, and Canyon Stoic 4 is a trail ready machine that we really loved. At just $19.99, the Stoic matches the same in house durability certification as Canyon's Enduro bikes. It's robust with sensible but aggressive geometry and a great 140mm RockShox Pike Select fork up front. We appreciated the 175mm dropper seat post on our size medium, and the SRAM Guide T brakes were powerful with a 200mm front rotor. The SRAM NX Eagle drivetrain has a big range and actually survived our nearly year long test. If you're a trail rider looking to expand your quiver, or someone looking to upgrade an older hardtail and ride more seriously, the Stoic 4 should be at the top of your list. Slammed in the steeps of Squamish, British Columbia, we tested the updated full-carbon Alchemy Arctos 150 and came away stoked. Compared to the previous Arctos we rode a few years ago, the 150mm travel signed suspension platform has been nicely refined, and the geometry has been stretched out a bit as Alchemy made all the right tweaks to this trail ripper. This new Arctos will appeal to a far more diverse group of riders than the previous version, serving as a long travel trail bike for those looking for a little more squish, or the enduro racer who favors a sporty, precise ride. Our test bike with Fox factory suspension and SRAM X01 drivetrain came in at $73.99, with sizes medium, large, and XL available. If you can get your mitts on one, the YT Jeffsy Core 3 is a big-hitting Trail 29er with a value that's hard to beat. Handing over $4,199 to the direct-to-consumer brand will get you a carbon frame, SRAM GX Eagle drivetrain, and Fox Performance Elite suspension. Adjustable geometry has the Jeffsy head angle sitting at 66 degrees in the low setting with a 470 mil reach on our size large test bike. On the trail, the Jeffsy felt like a brawler with more travel and slacker angles than what's reported on paper, with its ability to cover miles, blast the booters, and brap the berms. Aside from some lackluster, easily peeling frame protection, there wasn't too much to complain about but we were lucky enough to have a few months on a bike that seems to be like vaporware these days. Long travel 27.5 bikes ain't dead, and Newt Proof keeps the dream alive with their incredibly fun and surprisingly efficient Giga 275. With 180 millimeters of travel front and rear and a 63 and a half degree head angle, you can creep up on downhill bike territory with a bike that also goes up the mountain and can carry a bottle. At $54.99, our 33.5 pound test bike had Fox factory suspension and a Shimano XT drivetrain mated to its full carbon frame. This linkage driven single pivot is unlikely to let you down if you find delight in scrubs, shrouds, and whips, but also appreciate the ability to go very fast when the situation calls for it. Our vital reviewer, who is usually a full time 29er rider, says that the 27 5 inch wheeled pivot Mach 6 will have wagon wheelers shaking in their boots. Using a Phoenix-inspired DW-Link suspension platform with a Fox DHX2 coil shock, our size small Mach 6 weighed in at 30 pounds, 10 ounces, in its $8,849 Shimano XTR and carbon wheel trim. With 158 millimeters of buttery rear travel and 160 up front, there's adjustable geometry too. When in the high setting, climbing technical terrain was a highlight aboard the Mach 6, 
especially knowing the bike is not shy about holding a line in unpredictably loose, steep, and challenging terrain on the way down. Features like full-length foam padding for internal cable routing and mounts for Pivot's tool dock system under the down tube are just icing on the cake. Want a different model? No sweat. There are a whopping 20 different build offerings of the Mach 6, starting at $58.99. At Vital, we will never forget downhill bikes, and we put five of them through a summer of torture testing. While every bike in our test had their strengths, our former World Cup downhill racing testers both agreed that the High Pivot Trek Session 8 would be their bike of choice out of the group. At $4,999, our session wasn't the cheapest in the test, but in the mixed wheel mode, it was ready to hit serious race weekends or mob the bike park with parts that were solid out of the box, race-proven geometry, and suspension that flattened the trail. When asked if they'd look for the more expensive Session 9 if they were going to do some serious racing, both testers said no. Get the Session 8, rally it like Valley, and upgrade the parts as you go. Thanks for tuning in. We know that bikes aren't cheap, and it's easy to want the latest and greatest, but from everyone at Vital, we hope that the ride, not the bike, is why you're out having fun on two wheels. We'll see you on the trails.